Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your Love Forecast horoscope for Will There Be Contact. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. I'm about to release another video on there uh, tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. It's not going to be another spooky. Uh, so if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. There's multiple things for you guys to watch on there. Uh, I've done a, a, the reading on the Black Dahlia, John Benny Ramsey, um, Ambieville Horror. Um, the recent stuff I've done is the Entity case, and then I'm going to be releasing another spooky one tomorrow. So. All the information is in the description box below. I also want to make note that I have added a lot more content on the member section. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, all the information is in the description box below. All right. So we're going to be looking at the status of the connection. Why is there no contact? Um, what do they want to tell you? And will there be contact and some advice? Okay. So let's find out here. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what's going to happen with my, what's happening with my cancer status, their connection with their love interest, the one they're in communication with, what's going on with this connection? Please show me cards you can see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we can see that there is a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion here. Um, definitely a sense of enjoyment, a sense of an adventure, a happy kind of energy here. It's like, and the song that popped into my head was You Light My Fire. Um, I'm not sure who sings that, but if you guys, could um, tell me who sings that and or give me the lyrics in the comments below. I'll pin your comment, okay? But that's the song that popped into my head. It was, you light my fire. Okay, so, and you know I'm not gonna, <laughs> I don't wanna sing on camera. I'm not, I'm not a good singer, so. <laughs> High Priestess card's coming out. We see that, that there is this uh, energy of something secret uh, definitely a strong connection between you guys, spiritually strong connection here with the High Priestess card energy. Or there's something about this situation that's been secret, been kept hidden. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, they're watching you from afar. Okay, with the Six of Wands energy. Can you see why they're doing that? Let me just show you guys, for those of you that are readers. I know a lot of readers will say it's the Page of Swords that points to a spying kind of energy, but I would say that's more of a Seven of Swords, if you wanted to reference a card. Page of Swords, new ideas, new concepts. Okay, so we see that there is a person. I'm just saying this is from my intuition. That's what I feel like, okay? I can deal that there is somebody watching you from afar, secretly trying to tune in here, trying to see what's going on with you. And you see here, you're doing stuff, you're in front of people, but you're not seeing what's going on behind you. There's this chemistry, this passion and energy. And you see there's the horse in the background. That's your energy there. This person is sitting here in the front and saying, oh my God, you know what? I'm so attracted to this person. I need to keep this to myself, keep this secret, but I do watch them from afar. Six of Wands energy. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. That's interesting. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's a very stable energy coming in. It's like there is a realization, a knowledge here, right? We got this library in the background showing me that there's a wealth of knowledge between you and this person, that there's something very strong, very stable. There's lots of wisdom that was gained, lots of lessons that were gained from this connection towards Virgo Capricorn energy. And there's another spiritual oriented card here showing me that, you know, there's this commitment or wanting that there's like a strong commitment here. Some of you guys could be married to this person or separated from this person, uh, or there's, there was a want to get married here or have a long-term commitment. There's definitely a serious connection here between you and this person. It looks like there's a decision that's about to be made here. Like 
someone's got some plans and they're looking ahead to the future and like, all right, you know what? I've kind of already decided what I want to do here with the Two of Wands energy. And we see the Judgment card energy. So someone's about to bear their soul and to apologize here with the Judgment card energy. And we go further. Yeah, there's some planning going on. Someone feels like they're really wounded. They're really hurt. You can see here, like... For me, it shows that someone's really been through it. And it's like, I can, I, you know, it's like uh, they have something of yours that they hold close to them when they're sleeping at night. Or they may have a picture of you or their phone next to them, something about you, something connected to you that's, that's making them feel like comfortable and safe. Okay. We see the Ace of Pentacles, there's some kind of offer coming in. Some kind of huge offer coming in. Some kind of potential huge offer. Okay, so what are Pentacles? Money, family, children, long term. We see an action, a passion action, something uh, fast here. And we see Knight of, uh, King of Wands is saying, I'm going to take a leadership role to apologize. Right now, there's something hidden about this. I'm listening to my intuition towards this commitment. I have some plans here to get their attention, to make this decision, to make this offer. Ace of Pentacles energy. Very interesting. Very interesting. I also just want to tune in a little bit more intuitively to see what else I picked up, okay? So I'm going to use another card that's going to trigger my intuition a little bit more. Okay, so what else is going on with Cancer's? status of their connection with their love interest that they're out of communication with. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. So I've got the power card. Yeah, I don't feel like you're seeing it as of yet. Something's going to happen all of a sudden. The storm is clearing. Yeah, see? Storm is clearing. Um... And we see that someone is really overwhelmed with emotions. I get the sense that there's going to be some signs here, some really big signs coming up and massive changes. You're going to be able to see the forest before the trees here. There's a sense of embracing the future here. Why is that popping into my head now? Okay, spirit, what's that about? Okay, this is a crazy reference. <laughs> Um, probably is not going to resonate with everybody. But right after I laid down that card, you know what song popped into my head? It was the theme song to The X-Files. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me know in the comments below how that references to your situation with your person. Okay. I'm enjoying the moment. And there are some massive changes happening. And there's some success here, some growth. And someone's realizing, yes, this is, this is a very strong love connection. And there's an abundance of energy putting put towards this. Okay, or you're about to receive some abundance around this situation. Okay, so. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And let me just see why there's no contact here. Okay, so why is Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is Cancer's love interest not contacting Cancer? What's going on with this? What's happening with this? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, we got the Magician card energy. It's like, okay, I want to make sure that I have the ideal situation, the ideal, I have all the tools I need, I have my personal power. That's pretty much what the Magician card is saying. Plus also, the other thing that's drawing me to this card in the background, what is this in the background? There's some kind of dust up here. Something in the background around this situation. Someone's extremely focused on trying to wheel things in a certain way. Okay. Ah, yep. <laughs> they're being strategic about it. They're playing uh they're playing chess here, okay? They are gaining control of the situation. So they're doing this in a very calculated way. 
and then I hear my neighbor upstairs shifting their chair around. So they're shifting things around and you, they're watching you from afar, as I told you. You know, you can see this person's doing things in a way that they can gain some kind of control to get your attention, to have a victory. They want to be right. And it's like, I need to make sure the timing is going to be right. Before I go for this, they don't want to just jump in, you know, blindly there with the full card energy because they're like, then my hands would be tied in this situation. I need to make sure I get some kind of justice or make this decision in a just way. And it's going to be loving Ace of Cups energy because I really want to connect with them, right? There's something to do with a relationship, a commitment here with the lover's card energy. So let's get more information about why is there no contact? Give me more information on why there's no contact here. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. The image I see is, is a balloon. It's a red balloon and it's flying. Someone's like concerned of like, so balloons for me represents party. Okay, represents a celebration. And oh, they don't want to inflate someone's ego. Okay, so they don't want, oh, okay, okay. So they want to make sure it's safe for them to love because of passion. It's concerned about new love, renewal of love, and trusting in this. They definitely are praying about the situation or really thinking about it because they want to apologize here. They're addicted to you and they do want to express love, but they're waiting. Okay, so they do want to apologize. Okay, they do want to reconcile and they don't want to lose you to someone else. So they're waiting for the right time here. Now, there could be maybe you guys are with someone, a new love, or they're, they're maybe concerned that you may be with someone. So they, I guess they want to, I feel like they want to just confirm that that you're not with someone. If you guys are with someone, they're aware of it because they're like spying on you. Okay, so what do they want to say to you then? What do they want to say? What do they want to say? Let's find out what they want to say, Cancer. What does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What does Cancer's love interest want to say to Cancer's? Romantically, the one they're out of communication with. Show my cards you to see. Show my cards you to see. They have a certain idealism. They're determined to trust the situation. They don't want to disrupt anything. They're doing a lot of reflecting. Very protective here. So this protection this defensive energy they want to end. They're trying to manifest you back in their life or they want to make sure they have an ideal situation here so things can just flow for them. So yeah, there you go again. It's repeating that this person's like, well, I want things to just kind of align for me so that I can just go with the flow here. So I don't have any disruptions, any issues here. I want to focus on being happy here and being comfortable about this and not feeling angry and frustrated and my desires, I don't, I feel like there's a lot of worry and concern in my energy. It's, it's affecting my confidence here and resetting this situation. Yeah, consciously, I, I, there's a, they're, 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 they're just really concerned about being in a confident place here. They know that there's some things that have to be released here because of these secrets, this sense of mystery and they've come up with a bright idea here. I wanna get another deck here, just get another perspective on this. Okay, let's use, let's use my deck. What does their love interest wanna to say to, what does Cancer's love interest wanna to say to Cancer's? What do they wanna to say to the one, the one they're out of communication with? What does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about? The one they're out of communication with. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. I want to talk with you about an opportunity. And also this card means yes. I want to, I want when I talk with you, I want you to say yes. So I'm being patient and I'm waiting. 
I have a lot of regrets about what happened. I know you're the best decision for me. I did something all of a sudden. And I know it was a massive shock and surprise. I'm really cautious and defensive here. And I really want a positive outcome. I want to make you happy. We see there's this family situation. I want to contact you, letter, message, or document, but I'm stressing. And very soon I'm going to make a decision because of people and concerns about new love, socializing and new love. Okay. So they, again, they are concerned about some kind of new love connection. Okay, with you. Okay, so. Will Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to about. Will Cancer's love interest. Communicate with them in the next few months. Show me the cards you see. Show me the cards you see. Two. C. Okay, let's see, Cancer. Seven of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Okay. Got two positive cards, it's just pointing to yes, but then we have the seven of swords going on here. Okay, let's see why. I wanna defend my position. I wanna make sure there's an equal give and take because I'm concerned about lying or deceptions. I wanna gain some kind of clarity. I'm gonna take a romantic gesture towards you when it comes to this communication. So I'm gonna do it in a very slick or sly way. Knight of Swords, I'm not trying to make any abrupt decisions and be overwhelmed with burdens and responsibility here because I'm concerned you'll leave me out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy. Okay, loss of burdens, responsibility, then I can take a fast action. I need to defend my position, Seven of Wands energy, and I want to give to the situation because I'm concerned about some kind of lying or deceptions or something hidden about the situation. I want to gain some kind of clarity, victory. I'm going to take a romantic gesture towards you and talk with you. There's Eight of Wands confirming communication. I'm going to do it very fast, Knight of Swords energy, work quickly. Because of something to do with burdens and responsibility and something to do with a financial loss or being concerns about being left out of the cold, I want to argue and fight with you about some kind of creative solution and speak my truth to you about family, long-term, and abundance because I want to feel accomplished and completed here in a sense of happiness to us together and end this tough cycle. Okay, just be clear cut on this. Clear cut is saying yes. I've just, give me more information about what the heck this Seven of Swords was about, please. Give me more information about what that Seven of Swords was about, please. Show me crazy, see, show me crazy, see. There's something about a breakup. So it looks like if there is somebody together with someone else, it looks like it's gonna happen because of a breakup. Someone's alone and we see main person. There's a stuck energy and then someone's like, oh, what am I agreeing to here? We see an abundance of effort will be put into the situation because of memories of the past and being disappointed. Okay. So let's get you guys some advice. So just be clear cut, yes, some advice. Nice advice for my cancers when it comes to their love connection for the highest, best good, the best possible outcome for them, the one they're communicating. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Two. Three. Saying hello again. There's energy that will be put behind this. You are already getting spiritual confirmations. Pay attention to the signs. Something is going to come to light and you're going to be in awe and wonder about this love. Don't let your emotions run away with you. Be patient here. When it comes to these messages, you will have an achievement. Okay. That is pretty clear cut. All right, my beautiful Cancers. I love you guys so much. As I always preface this, guys, I am only here as guidance. You know what's best for you. You have free will. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. All right, my darlings, I love to read my comments, guys, and I do read my comments, so I love to hear from you guys. If this resonates with you, if you want to claim this message, if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I have added more uh, videos to my member section, as well as there's other videos for you guys to watch on my channel. There's multiple videos for you guys to watch. There's the 2023 reads, the monthlies, the mid-monthlies, the weeklies true intentions reads. Oh my God, there's so many up there for you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.